So we're here at Universal Studios for the first day of the Lunar New Year celebration. Hey guys, we're at the opening day at Lunar New Year for Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, we're gonna see what kind of foods they have, any meet and greets they have with any of the characters, and uh, just come and follow us along. All right. So it's Lunar New Year here at Universal Studios, but walking into the plaza, you would never know it. Nothing. Just a blank canvas. So a couple weeks ago, I posted a video on speculation for Universal Studios. Um, and it said about uh, their Lunar New Year was going to be scaled back quite a bit. Um, sadly, I was right. Um, this is pretty much it. Uh, it's just a noodle house serving some, uh, some new uh, food for the Lunar New Year. Other than that, that's pretty much it. The plaza is empty. I love your outfit. I know, right? Happy Lunar New Year! Hey guys, hey guys. so <laughs> I decided to get the Long Life Noodle uh, soup. It smells good. Uh, <laughs> has some peas, some fish cakes, and some deep fried shrimp. Um, I didn't get the pork ramen just because I figured it's about the same as the one from uh, Minions. Minions Cafe. You get that all year round. So uh, I wanted to try something new. Uh, let me try the broth a little bit. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> spice? It's got a little, um, yeah, I got a little cake, a little uh, spice. Uh, um, I love but it's pretty good. Hey, try it out. Spice is good though. It is good. It's not a good. It's not a bad spice. If you if you if you don't like spicy stuff, you, it's still tolerable. Yeah. You could still eat this. Um, okay. Next one up is gonna be the mango boba. Look at that. What is it called exactly? Mango. Mango tiger. I don't know, but it was supposed to have some blue stuff in it. But mango tiger boba. I think. Uh, okay. I think. Mmm. As Minute Made Lemonade in it. That's what it was. Minute? Minute Made Lemonade. And some popping bullet pearls. Really refreshing though. Yeah. I want to try these uh, Boba? bobas. Oh yeah. Okay. This is really good. Tastes like a Arnold Palmer iced tea slash lemonade. That's my take on it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Taste the boba. Try the boba. Mmm. Right? The boba, guys. This Check it really out, you guys. Good. Really good. All right, you guys. This um, soup, long life noodle soup, is no joke. Um, I seriously want to come here every day and have this soup. It is absolutely delicious. So full of flavor. The shrimp, the fish cakes, I mean everything tastes really, really good. I think I like this better than the pork ramen from Minions, um, to tell you the truth. Um, I'm so glad I got this. Definitely check this out, 14 bucks over at the Noodle House or Hollywood and Dime at Universal Studios. All right, you guys, next up, I have the chicken egg roll. So it came with some uh, soy so or sweet and sour sauce. I guess you're supposed to like put this on there. It's the only condiment they had. Um, Let's check this out and see what it tastes like. God. 
amazing. I can have like 10 of these. It is a bit pricey, it's about seven bucks for an egg roll, but man, the flavors just explode in your mouth. I could taste the ginger, the well-seasoned chicken, um, the veggies. This is like, oh my God, a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting this. You gotta definitely check this one out. It goes really good with the boba too. Two thumbs up you guys. All right you guys, next up is the Tiger Tail Donut. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. Um, this thing's huge. They use the containers for the 22 inch hot dog they serve over here at Universal. Let's check out what it tastes like. It's just a typical donut. Cinnamon with some chocolate. Really, really good. Again, you might have to share this. There's no way I'm gonna finish this. No way at all. But, get it here Universal, Hollywood and Dine, Noodle House. Two thumbs up. So I've been working on this donut for the past 10 minutes. As you can see, I've only gotten a, a quarter of the way through. There's no way I'm gonna finish this, so. Um, I'm gonna see if Danny's gonna want to have some, but um, you know what, Danny? I, think, I don't think he's gonna be able to finish this either. So, um, I mean, it's a good buy. It's a good snack to take home, but um, there's like no way you're gonna finish this. Um, it's very good though. Cinnamon and chocolate can't go wrong. Nice and warm, fluffy. Um, pretty good donut, I have to admit. All right, so Daniel got the pork ramen, which I think you can get at the Minions Cafe as well. Yeah, um, I was craving around. it. Yeah. I know, you were hungry too. <laughs> and also the fortune cookie frap. So we're going to see how both of these taste. It looks good, look at this. It looks good. I was kind of iffy on that one though, yeah. just because... Uh, also, they sold out. Uh, the Tiger Boba yeah. is all sold out. Sold out for the day. Yeah, so it's only what, like 12 30? Yeah. It's, it's only for about 12 30 in the afternoon, they already sold out. So, so I it's... guess that's uh that's in high demand right now. So Yeah, so it's uh you know get here early. Early bird beats the worm. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of which, I'm let's gonna try eat. your ramen. Alright. So I'm expecting the should same. Be, you know, it should be good on a nice uh cold day like this. Is uh is it hot enough? Just like you remember, right? Yeah, it's the uh, same as the Minions. Yeah. It's the same black. The same yeah. black oil. Yeah. <laughs> the, the pork and um, the marinated a, boiled egg. Also fresh made, so it's... Yeah, it's made yeah. to order, so it's going to take a little bit of time for them to get it to you. Uh, so don't expect it right away when you order it. Alright, um, so... Next, step Fortune wrapping. cookie wrap. Right. It has your name all over it. Yeah. What you think? You, you're gonna like it. I am. Yeah, why yeah, would this I is like, good. Why would I like this? Because it tastes like a shake. Well, okay. <laughs> it tastes, tastes like, like a, a shake. shake. That's yeah. kind of what it is. Well, <laughs> frappe? I don't taste coffee in there. I get chunks of uh, cookie. cookie. Yeah. The fortune cookie in there. Yeah. They crushed up fortune cookies and they put that in there. Interesting, very clever. Actually, I, I, I kind of like it. Yeah, I'll, that's going to be yours. And um, yeah. ah, this will be mine. Yeah, that's, that's all I have. They have a seasonal beer. 
Uh, I don't know how you say it. Sing Tao? Sing Tao? Um, yeah. Let me see what this one they said. It's good. Um, I think I'd rather prefer the IPA from Jurassic World downstairs. Uh, this one's yeah. a little bit more bitter. A um, little bit more watered down too. So, I don't know. I think I'd pass on this one. Also, Definitely yes on this, yes on this. And we got the Year of the Tiger cookie. And you have tigers right there in the middle. So this is basically the same shortbread cookie that they had for Christmas time. Um, so again, Danny with his pan dulce cookies. Yeah. Uh, they used to get the pandaria. Uh, <laughs> same kind of cookie, um, same flavor, just a different design with uh, tigers in the front. Um, very good, definitely check it out guys. So I'm over at Transformers and I still have no single rider line. So I guess that's not going to come back until maybe the peak season uh, this summer. Um, I also asked the team member if they're going to have a Mandarin speaking Megatron. Um, they had no idea what I was talking about. So chances are they're probably not going to have that this year. Which is kind of a bummer. Um, I've only got to see them in videos. I never got to see them in, in person. But um, I don't know. Hopefully I'm wrong and that'll change. So uh, we'll keep you posted. Like a rejected muggle from the academy. Where's your robe if you're so powerful, wizard? Oh, what's that for? Looks like a stick to me. Did it choose you or did you choose it? Oh, no, where are so you, you just saw uh, like Come in, Stay man, here. speaking Megatron. We can do it all day. Uh, just a regular everyday English speaking. Um, I don't know, maybe for the weekend. So I might have to come back on the weekend and uh, check things out and see what's changed and what's gonna stay the same. So either way, I'll keep you posted.
So that's pretty much it for Lunar New Year at Universal Studios Hollywood. Um, kind of a disappointment. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more uh, character meet and greet besides Hello Kitty in her Lunar New Year outfit, but. Um, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Yeah. You know, we just did the food. No plaza. Yeah. No nothing. <laughs> it's just. I don't know. We're gonna have to come back this weekend to see if anything changes. Yeah. Um, if it does, we'll let you know. And right, in the meantime, peace out, you guys. <laughs>